So there's a story, right? And the story talks about how this young up and comer wants to learn how to be successful in life. And so he meets with a guru and the guru teaches him how to be successful in life. And, and I'm going to change the story a little bit for you. So relate it to hockey, just to give you an idea of what it really takes and the mindset that you have to have if you want to be successful in this sport. All right. So picture yourself, a young up and coming player, okay, wanting to learn from the best, wanting what it takes. So you're able to meet with one of your idols as a hockey player. Who do you idolize as a hockey player? And you have a chance to meet them. And the first thing you should ask them should be, you know, what, what can I do? What can I do to be successful as you? What can I do to be successful as you? I idolize you. I want to reach the level of success that you've reached. What can I do to be successful as you? So he's like, yeah, man, no problem, no problem. Uh, you want to be successful as me, Let's, uh, let's meet tomorrow at 4.30 a.m. at the beach. It's like, dude, 4.30 a.m. at the beach? What are you talking about? You know? Well, so sure enough, whatever, I'm going to listen to him. And you show up at the beach at 4.30, and there he is. There's the player that you idolize waiting for you. And it's like, yeah, come out. Let's go out into the water. Let's go out into the water. Sure enough, you go out into the water, follow him down into the water, and walk in about waist deep. No, come on, let's go out a little bit farther. Pretty soon, you know, you're shoulder deep. What's going on? What is this guy doing? Why am I in the water right now? I want to become a better hockey player, okay? I don't want to go swimming. I want to improve my hockey game. No, come a little bit further, a little bit further. Pretty soon, your neck, chin up, and then what do you know? Boom, head down right underwater. You can't breathe. He's holding you down. You can't get away. You're grasping for air. You're flailing. Everything like that keeps holding you down. You come up. You can hardly breathe. <laughs> You're breathing deep, you're wheezing, boom, back down again. You're grasping for air, okay? You can't even, you, you can't even breathe. You want nothing more than to breathe, all right? What's going on? What would you do that for? You're all pissed off. You get out of the water. What would you do that for? When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, all right? A quote from my man, Eric Thomas. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you'll be able to understand what it takes for, to be successful. When you want nothing more to get air, all right? If that's how bad you want success, then you'll be successful. Then you'll understand the mindset that it takes because it's the only thing that matters to you. The only thing you want to do is breathe when the only thing you want to do is succeed. Every decision you make, everything you do up to that point is for that goal. That's when you'll be successful.